David spent more than 30 years in the classroom, 15 of them at the Milwaukee High School of the Arts, where three of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims went to school. He did not want his face shown, but felt compelled to tell us about the young men taken too soon. What was unique about Milwaukee High School of the Arts was the tremendous diversity of the school that, that just happened naturally. And um, the students um, came from all walks of life. David knew Anthony Sears, Curtis Strotter, and Ernest Miller. He says Miller had a bright future. He was such a gifted dancer, an amazing vocalist, and he just started uh, putting his foot in the pool of acting. And so he was truly a triple threat. So um, that year, his senior year, he, um, he didn't find out until the end of the year that he got accepted into Roosevelt in Chicago. That was the last I heard of Ernest. And then that summer, um, I saw him on the news as one of the victims and mm, my heart broke. As for the other students. Curtis Strader wasn't one of my personal students, but he hung out with that same group. Um, and um, Anthony Sears, who had graduated already, but Anthony, Anthony was a holdover from West Division who wanted to continue at arts. And I remember him being a really very handsome young man who wanted to go into modeling. David has no intention of watching the Netflix shows. I'm choosing not to watch it. Uh, those memories hurt deep. But for anyone who does, he hopes his students are remembered for who they truly were. I don't want them to see them as victims. They were brilliant kids, talented, who laid the foundation to make Milwaukee High School of the Arts what it is today. In Milwaukee, Cyria Sandlin, WISN 12 News. And Netflix has a new three-part documentary about Jeffrey Dahmer premiering this week.